Hi, my name is Juliana Aguilar. I'm the director of the ABA programs here at Purdue. I wanted to provide you with some information about what Purdue offers in terms of ABA and the requirements that you will need in order to sit for the board licensure exam. Currently, Purdue has three separate programs for a master's in applied behavior analysis. The first is a master's, an online master's program. We also have an IP Shines residential master's program and a four plus one accelerated master's program. And that program specifically for undergraduates at Purdue University. No matter what program you're in here, you're going to need to meet the requirements of the board to become a board certified behavior analyst. As a student at Purdue, no matter which program you're in, you will meet this pathway two, where you're completing a specific set of behavior analytic coursework that has been approved as part of a verified course sequence. It also allows you to obtain a graduate degree, so a master's in education with an emphasis in applied behavior analysis. And you have to complete some sort of fieldwork experience. As part of your degree program, we are able to offer you two parts of this pathway, a master's degree, so a graduate degree, and the coursework that you will be required to take here at Purdue will meet the behavior analytic coursework requirement. The fieldwork or practical fieldwork in applied behavior analysis is not provided as part of the online program here at Purdue, and this will be something that you will have to fulfill on your own. Once you've met these three requirements, you could then apply and sit for the board certified behavior analyst exam. And if you pass that examination, then you obtain your certification or your licensure as a behavior analyst. Here's some information about our plan of study. Like I mentioned, you will have to complete a verified course sequence. Here are the classes that are involved with that. During your fall semester, you will complete introduction to ABA, as well as introduction to educational research, so 552 and 533. In the spring, you will complete an ethics course and foundations in applied behavior analysis. Over the summer, you will take verbal behavior and a cultural and linguistics course. The following fall, you will take advanced applied behavior analysis and a course on single case research. During your final semester, you will take behavior analysts as supervisors and applications of ABA to manage and support personnel, which is an organizational behavior management class. So if you have any interest in providing good leadership to your registered behavior technicians, or paraprofessionals within your classroom, this would be a really good class for you. In order to ensure graduation, um, you have to stick to the plan of study. Each of our courses is only offered once a year. So if you don't take a class during the semester that it's offered, you will have to wait an entire year in order to retake that course and it could delay your graduation. We also require a 3.0 GPA to graduate. We want to make sure that you're maintaining above a B average in all of your courses. So if you ever need assistance with this, please reach out to your professor or to myself or to Jared Miles, and we will try to assist in any way. Last, prior to graduation, you will need to submit a plan of study the semester prior to graduation. One thing I wanted to mention about the verified course sequence is that these specific classes are attached to the hours required by Applied Behavior Analysis International, and they approve all of these courses because they are tied to the hours that they require in order to sit for the licensure exam. So every minute that you spend in lecture or completing an assignment, posting discussion boards, or reading specific content is tied to this educational time. We will always provide opportunities for you to make up any missed lectures or assignments so that you meet this requirement, but it is your responsibility to attend all lectures and complete all the assignments to make sure that you are in compliance with the requirements in order to sit for the licensure exam. Like I mentioned previously, there is supervised fieldwork 
that must be completed in order to um, apply for the licensure exam. But for the online programs that is not provided by Purdue, there are two options. You can do supervised field work, which is 2,000 hours, and concentrated supervised field work, which is 1,500 hours. The difference between this two is based on the number of supervisory hours that you're receiving in your field work placement and the number of contacts provided by your supervisor. Like I said, this isn't provided by the university and you would discuss with your supervisor at your placement what type of field work you will be completing with them. All right, once you have completed all of the field work, all of the hours, um, all of the certification coursework and have um, received your degree, you can then apply to sit for the BCBA exam you will pay a fee, you will submit specific documents. What Purdue will provide on your behalf is confirmation that you did complete a graduate degree with us and transcripts of the behavior analytic coursework that you completed here. You and your supervisor will also be responsible for submitting um, verification of the fieldwork hours that you completed. And once that's approved by the BACB, the Behavior Analyst Certification Board, um, you will receive determination uh, whether or not you can sit for the Behavior Analyst exam. Once you pass your exam, then you will be a Certified Behavior Analyst. Okay, that's all the information I have for you today. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me about all BCBA related questions. If you have any questions regarding the courses you take, their descriptions or the plan of study, please reach out to Jared Miles and all of the information I provided today can be found at the BACB website under the BCBA handbook. Thank you.